Hey everyone, I want to do a quick and dirty comparison between the Clutch 2-speed digital display drill press and this uh, WEN 10-inch drill press with laser. Um, they have very similar capacities. Uh, if you look at the distance between the center post and the center of the drill bit, you're looking at just short of 5 inches with the Clutch. Um, just short, probably about 4 and 7 eighths compared to the when is just over five inches so five and an eighth so very similar in that capacity um, but the clutch is much uh, more compact so similar heights overall but if you look at the back end here the when is this big motor hanging out versus the clutch from northern tool just stops the entire motor motor and everything is in that head unit there it's also much lighter, so the clutch, obviously there's a lot of plastic up here. The base and the post are aluminum compared to with the WEN. You've got a cast iron uh, table, the body is cast iron, the motor itself is very heavy, the bottom is cast iron, the post is steel. Um, so this isn't something you want to be moving around a lot, you just stick it on a bench. Versus the clutch, you could move it around to your workpiece fairly easily. Uh, the other advantage to being aluminum is no rust. You can see on my WEN, I've got surface rust on the uh, chuck. I've got surface rust on the, the post here, even though I've wiped that down with oil a few times to try and prevent it. Same thing with the work table. As far as vertical capacity, um, in there all the way top positions, you get about 11 and... Eleven and a quarter, roughly, to the base here, compared to only about eight and three quarters over here. Sorry for the bad camera work. Um, of course, with the win, if you need to fit something taller inside here, you can just slide the table out of the way, and then you get a lot more room here. So in that regard, this is taller. Um, but an advantage to the clutch here is that the entire motor unit moves and you can move it all the way down So if you loosen this bottom support here The entire motor unit will travel along the track and you could theoretically put it on top of something and then drill down Through the base so put the entire base on top of a larger board or larger object and drill straight down into it That's something really unique about this style that opens up a lot of possibilities for how you could use it also, when you're talking about spindle travel, um, this WEN never had a ton. You can see how much it's moving there. It's under three inches. I don't remember exactly, maybe two and seven eighths or something as far as spindle travel goes. The clutch technically is like just over three inches, three and eight or something. But if you've got this loosened up, again, you can travel the entire motor unit along its entire length. So. You know, sky's the limit really on far, as far as travel length when you're in that condition. Um, the WEN is just a 5-speed. The reason why I'm replacing it actually is because its slowest speed is only 600 RPM, which really isn't great for drilling hard steel. So works great for wood, but not great for steel. The clutch is really customizable, and it has a digital display. So it just has a, a knob to change the speed, and it'll tell you how fast it's going. So this knob adjusts the speed on the side is the gear or speed selector switch between high and low gear, which is a lot easier to change than the when you've got a swap your belts back and forth to change speed. So it's kind of annoying to do. The thing that I dislike about the clutch the most is probably the handle. Um, first of all, it only has two arms, as you can see there, um, versus the standard style of three. With the WEN, I could always, if I was doing a shallow 
a shallow drill, I would just grab the front one, push it down, and I'd be done. And if I knew I was going deep, I could just grab the bottom one and go all the way around. And they were always in the same place. It was easy to keep track of. One downfall of the motor unit moving up and down is that this indexes on the track, which means depending where you set the body, your handle is going to be in a different position every time you go to grab it. So instead of it always being in the front that I could basically do blindfolded while I'm looking at my workpiece, I kind of have to hunt for where the handle is at any given time. Also, because there's only two, if you need to switch kind of hand over hand, it's a little more annoying. The shape of it isn't as conducive to just quickly spinning it around as these little round knobs are. Other than that, that's really the main thing I dislike about it. The the clutch is a little louder. If you hear, it's got, sounds like some straight cut gears in there. So when you get to the higher RPMs, it can get kind of loud versus the win. It's a nice low hum. It honestly just sounds like quality. That's what you get with a, a belt driven motor. It has a classic drill press sound that's just a little more pleasing, but I'm not choosing my tools based on how they sound, so that's not really a big deal to me. The electronic display, the ability to move it up and down further, the light weight of it, easy to move, is a big deal. As well as the clamps, the built-in clamp. You just lift it up to how high you need it, spin it around, and then tighten it down and it locks itself in place. So it's always at the ready, easy to just spin out of the way versus this toggle clamp that I've been using. It's easy to use in most cases, but on this small of a table, it's in the way a lot, and you can't easily change where it's at. It just has to ride in that slot. There are better solutions to this. But this is a, a cheap one that was easy to have, and I gotta say, I like the clutches a little better. All right, that's all I have to say on it. If you've got any questions, drop a comment and I'll try and answer.